institution home to more than 48,000 students. While weather such as heavy rain and lightning can impact how the university runs, snow is the main threat and usually causes the college to engage in a very complex process to mitigate the icy conditions that follow. With any potential for snow-glittered streets, students, faculty, and staff ponder whether or not Penn State University will close the campus. Athletes ask if their practice will be canceled, and workers wonder how their day will be impacted by a snow event. With classes in session, safety is a primary concern for thousands on and off campus. The decision to alter university operations is difficult and requires numerous steps and preparation. How the university handles operation changes starts even before the winter season begins. Basically, we, we are already in snow planning mode for the partic this particular season, making sure that we have our rock salt and de-icing agents uh, are ordered and ready. Uh, we do use outside contractors for some of our snow clearing, making sure that they're available. And then also, um, we, uh, we, we don't have enough equipment we don't own enough of the equipment for snow clearing, effective snow clearing, so we rent those units. So we're um, actually been through the process of, of securing bids for renting those particular units. So uh, the, I'd say the base of that tree is, uh, you know, it starts basically in October, August, and, and September, um, you know, and, and kind of working up from there. After the fall months, Penn State Ground Services begin looking for any impending storms that may impact the campus. Once a storm is on the horizon, they evaluate what factors will come into play when thinking about changing the operation status of the university. To a degree, it's it's the the timing of the storm, uh, and the duration of the storm, and then of course the the quantity of snow that we're looking at that actually receiving. It's really more about what is the timing for that particular storm in relation to whatever events we have going on. I mean, let's let's face it, Penn State is a 24-hour-a-day operation. Um, it's not just a concern for classes starting at 8 o'clock or whatever. So um, it all depends on when that storm is going to start and the uh, number of activities that we might have going on at that particular time. There are clubs and organizations that start early in the morning before 7 a.m. and after dark past 10 p.m. like the Campus Weather Service. So that's why the university doesn't just close from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. But this is also a reason the school must make a decision to notify those heading into campus far in advance. Usually it's, it's um, you know, I'd, just, I'd say within a 12-hour period of whenever, camp, you know, classes might be starting or, or whatever. And again, it's important to understand that Penn State is a 24-hour-a-day operation. So if, it, you know, and it seems like so many of these storms end up hitting us overnight. So it, in many cases, it is impacting an eight o'clock start to campus, but a storm might come later and uh, we might have to delay the opening or we might actually have to consider sending people home early, um, uh, canceling classes later in the day or even canceling other events like you know maybe a basketball game or a concert. Um, obviously we try really hard not to do those kinds of things. While the timing of the storm is an important consideration, the areas where effects are felt also play a huge role in determining close and delay times. Focus shifts to what the local conditions are like, not just in Happy Valley, but also in surrounding communities. Some Penn State commuters are not from the State College region, and they must travel over an hour to get into campus. We do have a lot of faculty and staff uh, and, and students who are traveling in from outlying areas. I, I can remember one time last year where it was determined that you know, conditions were just too unsafe coming over the mountains to get to State College, and we opted for a delay. To make a decision both ahead of time and on the fly, the university will monitor the road and weather conditions across the local region by partnering with various organizations such as PennDOT and University Police. Ground services will also consult with meteorologists on and off campus to get the latest information on the storm's impacts. Bill Sodret with the meteorology department, he provides us forecasts leading up to a storm and, and uh, he's a, a huge resource. Of course, we're watching, you know, all the online models, AccuWeather, um, and then in particular, uh, University Police and Public Safety will be monitoring the webcams that PennDOT has uh, just so that we can know what kind of, uh, what the travel conditions would be along all the highways leading into campus um, or, or into State College for those people who are coming in from outlying areas. 
Once students and staff are on university grounds, the primary focus shifts inside campus to keep the area passable. The physical plant at Penn State will sweep roads and sidewalks on campus while roads along the edge will continue to be maintained by PennDOT and local municipalities. This is critically important during storms that start during the middle of the day. Once people are on campus, then it, it, it is, a you know, most people are, are asked to park in larger surface lots and on the periphery of campus. So then our shift, our focus shifts more towards keeping sidewalks clear and things like that. Honestly, a lot of the road conditions, um, because we, we have very few roads on campus. I mean, and they're, um, uh, you know, and a lot of the, our perimeter roads are actually controlled by PennDOT or the municipality, state college, borough, college, college township. Um, so we're relying on those partner organizations and their clearing operation to make sure the people are getting here safely. Snow is bittersweet for many students and staff. These fluffy white ice crystals are a dream for many students who want to sled down the various hills across campus. But they are also a headache for faculty and staff traversing across the winter landscapes of Happy Valley to get into University Park. No matter the conditions, no matter the time, the Penn State operations team is always in full force with handling the various challenges of a snowstorm, big or small. For Weather World, I'm student meteorologist Brendan Pham.